I have all my caterpillars, pupa, chrysalises, and cocoons in the garage for the winter. The only light they'll get is from the window, so they'll just have natural daylight hours, and the garage is not heated. In the spring, they'll emerge from their chrysalises, cocoons, and pupa, and the caterpillars will complete their metamorphosis then. Over here, I have the pupa of my hickory horn devils. They've burrowed into the ground, and that soil is damp, and the paper towel on top of it's damp. And I loosely put the lid on here uh, just for ventilation. In this box here, I have a pink striped oakworm moth pupa and walnut caterpillar pupa. In this box here, I have my snowberry clearwing pupa. Over here, and I have this lid on here, and what I, these are my woolly bears, and they'll overwinter, and in the spring, they'll complete their metamorphosis. And when I think of it, I'll go ahead and mist these leaves that they're on and hiding under. I also do that with all my chrysalises and cocoons until it gets really late in you know, the winter and I really don't do it then. They're getting plenty of humidity from the snow anyways, being out in the garage. And so in here, these are Prometheus and you know, I miss those too. And like I said, I do these, and every time I think of it, um, this has nothing in it right now. It's waiting for my IOs. I'm, I'm still raising those caterpillars. In here, I have Cecropias. And in here, I have an Imperial Moth pupa is in here. Down here, these are my Hickory Tussock Moth cocoons. And this here, these are my red my red spotted purple hibernacula. And the caterpillars are very small and they're hiding inside of um, the little enclosures they've made and they'll complete their metamorphosis in the spring. And this is wisteria and I have two silver spotted skipper pupa that are overwintering in here. These are a variety of chrysalises that will overwinter. And up here, I have my Luna moth cocoons. And these are my Polyphemus cocoons. So this is how I overwinter all my species. And so hopefully, um, You've learned a little bit from this little example of what I do. So try to stay warm this winter and dream about all the butterflies and moths you'll see next spring.